It seems like one of the simplest cleaning tasks, but getting it wrong can waste your time. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best ways to accomplish the task of dusting. I know it can feel tempting to use a cleaning product or even water to do your dusting, but actually if you have quite a bit of dust on a surface, water can make the dust sticky. So what you wanna do is dry dust your surface first, and then you can use your hand to feel if there's still any grittiness or dirt left behind. If there is at that point, you can have another microfiber cloth, spritz that with a little bit of cleaning product, and wipe it clean. But remember, dusting does not require any moisture or liquid. Gravity informs the way we dust. So make sure that you're always tackling the high dusting jobs to the mid dusting jobs to the lower dusting jobs. Because your dust falls from the top to the bottom, if you were to dust something here and then remember to dust something up here after, you would then get dust back here and then have to re-clean this surface. When I clean, I'm always working from the top to the bottom. I throw everything on the floor because I know at the end of my cleaning, the floor is gonna get vacuumed and that will take care of all of the fallen dust, dirt, and debris. Tools make a huge difference in how efficient you are when you are dusting. If you're using a cotton cloth or something that's not overly absorbent, you're just gonna be pushing the dust around, but it won't actually pick up and remove the dust from the surface. That's why I'm such a fan of microfiber cloths and our general purpose microfiber cloth, I've got a link for you down below, is perfect for this job. It's 16 by 16, it's 350 GSM, so it's nice and thick. So it's absorbent in the sense that it can pick up a lot of dust, but it won't feel heavy and hard to clean with. It's a very, very important tool for cleaning. And in fact, when I started my cleaning business back in 2006, I wasn't cleaning with microfiber. And when I started cleaning with microfiber, it completely changed the amount of time I spent cleaning. It was cut in about half and the quality of my cleanings, which drastically improved. When I'm dusting, I work section by section from the top to the bottom, left to right. And as I encounter a surface that has items on it, the way that I dust is as follows. I will take an item off the surface. I dust the item over the floor so that I'm not getting the surface that I've just cleaned dirty and then I'm replacing the item where I found it. Now this might sound so robotic, take item, move over here, dust, replace, but what it actually does is keeps the surface free from dust, the surface that you just cleaned. So it's a quick and easy change that you can make to be so much more efficient with the way that you dust. One of the chicken egg questions about cleaning is should you vacuum first or should you dust first? So I will give you my definitive expert answer and here it is if you have a pet or a lot of dust in your home you want to use the sandwich method where you vacuum first then you clean dust etc and then you vacuum at the end because if there's so much dust and pet hair flying around while you're cleaning it's just going to resettle anyway so by doing that initial vacuum you actually remove a lot of that stuff so that it doesn't resettle then you can do your work and then you can finish off by removing it at the end. Whereas if you don't have a lot of that, just do your cleaning and then vacuum at the end. It's important to do this because while we're cleaning, I want you to get into the habit of throwing everything on the floor. Why should you waste any time sweeping anything into your hand? You don't have time for that. Let the floor deal with it. And then when you clean your floors at the very end, it's kind of like putting the cherry on the top of the ice cream sundae. It just perfects everything and your floors look and feel amazing and the dust is all gone. Dusting is not hard to do, but if you do it correctly, you'll be so much more efficient and effective and you'll spend less time doing it, which is what I'm all about. So I hope you found this video helpful and I'd love to know in the comments down below, are you like a feather duster kind of person or are you a microfiber cloth kind of duster person? Let me know your preference. When I started cleaning, I was using a feather duster and a cotton cloth, but I quickly moved away from that because I find microfiber very 
attractive. And if you want some other great cleaning tips, you can check out this playlist over here. Also, if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the Makers Clean channel. And if you wanna learn more about any of the microfiber cleaning tools I was using in this video, you can visit makersclean.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.